Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've done a makeover on my very good friend Michelle. As you can see, she's super pale and she has somewhat hooded eyes, so I thought it would be good to show you guys how I do her makeup, and I hope you're gonna like it. First of all, as I do all the time and on myself, I am applying a base to her eyelids. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and I'm just putting it all over her eyelids and her forehead, and then I'm just going to blend in and pat it in with a damp beauty blender. To set it in place, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Setting Powder. It's translucent and it is beautiful. And with a big, soft, vegan blending brush from BH Cosmetics, which I will link down below for you. I'll link every product I've used in the description box down below for you. I'm just setting all the foundation in place. For the eyeshadow palette today, I'm using the Tarte Tartist Pro eyeshadow palette. And the color I'm going in with, first of all, is this one here. It's called Bold. Because Michelle has slightly hooded eyes, I'm going to be applying the eyeshadow in the dome shape. I am going to do a new in-depth video on how to do the dome shape, but this will give you guys an idea of how to do it anyway. So I'm using a Sigma E25 brush to pack that eyeshadow onto her eyelid, and every so often I'm going to get her to open her eyes and look straight at me so I can see where the crease and the hood of her eye actually is. By doing that, I can see where the hood of her eye is, and I can make sure I bring the eyeshadow up higher than that so that when she opens her eyes, you can still see the eyeshadow. Then I'm taking a blending brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to blend around the outside edge of that dome shape and make it much softer. And then repeat that same step because I want this color to be quite pigmented. So I'm going in with the bold color, packing it onto her eyelid and then blending it out. The next color I'm using is this super dark brown here. It's called Smoked. And again, I'm applying that in the dome shape. So I'm still using an E25 to apply it and I'm still gonna get her to open her eyes every so often so I can see where the crease of her eye is and make sure I bring it up higher than that. Then again, I'm just going in with the BH Cosmetics blending brush and blending it all out. Now I'm going in with this matte black, it's called Punk, on a Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm going to be applying this colour to the outer corners of Michelle's eyes. The reason we're doing this is because it'll elongate the look of the eyes, make them look wider, bigger, and it just gives the eyes a real sexy, smoky look. To blend that colour out, I'm just taking my E25 and just gently blending around where I applied the black. Now because when you blend eyeshadow out, you tend to lose a lot of the pigment and the structure of the colour, so I'm just going back in with Punk to reinstate the black because I do want this to be much more pigmented. So I'm basically just repeating that whole step again, so applying Punk with the E30 and then going in with the E25 to blend it out. The color I'm using now is called Vintage, and I'm using a Sigma E55 to pack it onto the mobile lid of the eye. So the reason we're doing this is because it'll just open the eyes up a little bit more, make them look a little bit brighter just on those inner corners. So don't put this color on top of the black that we just put. Focus this color on the inner corners of the eyes and then gently bringing it further in towards the middle of the eyelid. Then I'm just taking a clean E40 brush to really, really gently just blend that out and make it look softer and more blended. I'm also using that same color and the same brush to highlight the arch of her brow bone and the inner corners of her eyes. The brush I'm using to highlight the inner corners of her eyes, by the way, is the Sigma E21. It's amazing for detailed eyeshadow work. I'm going to do a real slight winged eyeliner on Michelle, and the liquid liner I'm using to do this is the AMC eyeliner from Inglot Cosmetics and I'm applying it with a Sigma winged liner brush. Because Michelle does have hooded eyes, I'm only doing a really thin winged liner. If you go too thick, it's just gonna close the whole look of the eye up, which we don't wanna do. So I'm just kind of tight lining the top lash line and then doing a slight wing on the outer corners of her eyes. Then while her eyeliner is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in her brows. I'm using the Sigma Duo powder in the color medium for her brow powder. As you can see, it's got two sides. I'm using the lighter shade for the entirety of her brow, and then the darker shade, I'm only using that on the tail of her brow to give it that ombre effect. Michelle has amazing eyebrows, naturally. I'm so jealous. Look how perfectly symmetrical they are. Oh, I want them. <laughs> to set her eyebrow hairs in place, I'm using the Thousand Hour Clear Gel Brow Gel Brow Gel, <laughs> and I'm brushing all her hairs up. When you brush the hairs up and set them like that, it kind of lifts the whole eye area along with it and it just looks amazing. Now I'm going to apply some black pencil liner to her top waterline. The one I'm using is the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner and the color is Obsidian. This looks totally weird and it feels weird for the model, but it's all good. It's so worth doing because when you line the waterline and you've got a winged liner on, it just makes the lash line appear so thick, so voluminous and so black and it just looks beautiful. 
For her mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is the best mascara in the entire world. It's so good, in fact, that I'm not gonna use any false lashes on Michelle, quite frankly, because she doesn't need them. She already has really long eyelashes, and this mascara will do them up perfectly. Now it's time for the face. So I'm just taking a baby wipe and wiping away any fallout that's fallen onto her skin. Now this part I'm gonna super speed through because I've done a separate video on this and it will be up on Monday, so stay tuned for that. I am just concealing the darkness underneath her eyes. So I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Correcting Cream, putting that anywhere she looks blue, and then going in with a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to highlight underneath the eyes. Then I'm gonna set it in place and bake with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores translucent powder in the loose form. And now I'm gonna apply the foundation to the rest of her face. So again, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and I'm applying it to her face with a damp beauty blender. So Michelle has absolutely perfect skin as you can see, but she did have a few tiny spots on her chin. So I just used the Shape Tape Concealer again just to conceal them. I've applied the foundation first, and by doing that, I could see what the foundation covered and what it didn't cover. So where it didn't cover, that's where I concealed. To set her foundation in place, I'm using an Inglot Powder Puff and the Marc Jacobs Translucent Setting Powder. Now I'm moving back up to her eyes and I'm applying some eyeshadow to her lower lash line. I'm just using the same color that we used first of all on the top lid called Bold, and I'm applying that underneath her lower lashes with a Sigma E25. How beautiful are her eyes, by the way? I'm obsessed with her eye color, I want it. Right, back to business. I'm going in with an E21 and that dark brown shadow we used earlier called Smoked. And I'm kind of tight lining her lower lashes this time. So with this shade, with the dark shade, you wanna keep it as close to the lower lashes as possible. So you're using a smudge brush to kind of smudge the eyeshadow into the roots of the lashes. And then I'm just taking the E25 again to really gently blend that out and make it look softer. Then I'm applying the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to her bottom lashes as well. And it's time to apply some bronzer. So I'm using the Tarte Bronzer for Michelle. As you can see, she's really pale. So I'm only applying a tiny, tiny amount to anywhere the sun hits naturally. So the tops of the cheekbones and the top of the forehead. Then for her contour, I'm using this one here from Makeup Geek. It's called Breakup and it's a real cool porcelain color contour. So it's perfect if you have pale skin. By the way, who wants an updated pale skin contouring video? If you want that, let me know in the comments down below and I'll film that for you either on myself or Michelle. Let me know who you want the model to be. For her highlight, I'm using this highlight here from Tarte. Again, everything I used, I will link in the description box down below because I know I'm using so many products right now and it's probably gonna be hard to catch them all. But I'm just applying that highlight to the high points of her face with a Sigma fan brush. So I'm applying it to the tops of her cheekbones, the tip of her nose, and a lot on her cupid's bow because I love Michelle's cupid's bow. It's so pronounced. I don't have one, mine's completely flat. So I went kind of crazy on Michelle's. I highlighted it to the heavens. <laughs> now for blush, I'm using this one here from Makeup Geek. It's called Heartthrob and I'm applying that to the apples of Michelle's cheeks. For the lips, I'm using the liquid lipstick from Makeup Geek. This is my favorite color at the moment. It's called do -Si do It is the best nude, it's so nice, and it suits Michelle so perfectly. It just blends in with the rest of her makeup so well. I love it. And that is the finished look. I'm so happy with how this makeup turned out. I think she looks absolutely beautiful. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna see Michelle back for some more tutorials and what you'd like to see me do with her face. Thanks so much for watching guys. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.